Hi YouTubers, For this is a video for those of you who want to remove the spare tire but have no clue on how to. Okay, it's, it's fairly simple. Okay, so your spare tire is hooked up by a chain right there. It's, it's hoisted up and down on a little pulley system. And to access that, you're going to have to remove this uh, square plastic slot. Okay, uh, Lexus does provide you with all the tools to do this and it's right here on your back panel. Okay, let me show you exactly how. Real quick here. Okay, you just remove this by turning it clockwise to open. Okay, you have a whole set of tool arrangements right here. Let me show you this right here. Okay, and for you to be able to do this, you're going to take your flathead screwdriver. Okay, you take your flathead screwdriver and you're going to take the bottom piece right here. Take the bottom piece. The bottom piece has um, a square square shape right there and on the other side it's also a square shape right there okay you're gonna take the extension which also has a square shape right there and on the other end it has a square shape where you do fit the other extension in with a screw so you're gonna take one side and you're gonna put it in the other just like this and you're gonna tighten this you could tighten it by hand it doesn't matter you don't need a screw tight so you have one long extension one piece with a piece of square right here and the other end with a piece of square right there okay and for you to be able to screw the tires out you're gonna have to take this long L shape looking thing right here for a lack of a better word for it okay you can take the square L shape right there and you're going to put it at the ends right here right and you're gonna screw it in so now you have a little turning thing right here a turn handle okay so you're going to stick this whole entire square thing inside the slot okay for you to open up that slot go ahead and take the same flathead screwdriver that came with your kit okay and you're going to pry open square plastic box right here there pry it open now if you look inside I'm not even sure if you could see it from here inside you're going to have a square slot the square slot slot is going to be at an angle. It's going to be at this angle. It's about maybe less than 45 degrees to your right. Okay, so you're going to take you're going to take this extension and you're going to stick it in there. Stick it in there until this square piece fits in a little square female part in there. Once you fit it in, you're going to have to look through there and feel for it. And once it gets tightened in there, let me see if I could do it right now. There, I just did it. There, now it's tight. See there? And that's the angle you're going to be working at, okay? So once I fit that in there, I'm going to... Uh, sorry about that, guys. Some of this work I'm going to have to do with one person with no helper like other YouTubers. Okay, make sure you tighten everything by hand. Okay, make sure you tighten this part by tighten this part too. There you go. Okay, so right now what you want to do is you want to turn it counterclockwise. Just turn it counterclockwise. When you turn it counterclockwise, you're going to totally tell that your tires are going to start lowering by itself. And watch me turn it counterclockwise, you're going to start seeing the tire lower. Okay? Oh, by the way, here's another bit of advice. Once you put this uh, top handle in, you you're going to want to put this part right here on the out part of it, on the outside of it, so you don't hit your bumper when you, you turn it, okay? Um, just for the sake of this video, I'm going to be careful not to hit my bumper, but you get the gist of it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and turn it until my tire is completely down. Once the tire comes completely down and hits the floor, you're going to want to uh, continue and lower it some more to give your chain a lot of slack in order for you to remove it off your spare tire, okay? so. I'm going to go ahead and do this until, see how my spare tire already hit the floor? But I'm going to keep on uh, turning it counterclockwise until I get a lot of slack on my chain. Once you get a lot of slack on your chain, you're going to go to the center of your tires and remove it. See, this is the thing that's holding your spare tire, okay? Once you remove it, you can pull your spare tire back out. It's very simple, okay? So once you put your spare tire back on, same thing. You want to put this in the middle, 
put these two ledges underneath the lip of your center cap just like this and you're going to want to turn it clockwise to bring the tires back up but um, while you're, you're you're spinning uh, clockwise and bring your tire back up you want to double check to make sure that this fitment right here is directly pulling on the center center hub just like that okay you don't want it to be crooked or anything because if, if it's crooked and it seems like uh, it's on your tires you might be driving your spare tire may fall off your car okay so you want to always double check and triple check to make sure it's exactly on the center just like this just pull it up exactly on the center okay so if you're if this is a one-man job you might want to tighten this and then go back and look and then tighten it and go back and look until you're almost certain okay and confident that your spare tire is on um, on perfect okay and and to reinstall back everything you just reverse the, the steps that I just showed you okay thank you for watching